these next problems have to do with a type of transformation called a glide reflection. And a glide reflection is really a combination of two other transformations. It's a translation, so this L up here, the figure ABC, is going to get slid around some way, and um, reflection, and it's going to get flipped over. The way to approach a problem like this, and what they're asking here is what is the, the glide reflection that's going to map this figure onto this figure. What you should do first is ask yourself which direction is it being reflected. And you should be able to tell just by looking at these, you've got a right side up L here, you've got an upside down L here, that it's going to be reflected over some horizontal line. Maybe over the x-axis, maybe over some line like y equals negative 1, but it's going to be flipped over a horizontal line. That's the first part. And actually, just looking ahead to the answer choices here, we've got um, reflections either over the line y equals negative 1 or x equals negative 1. Well, you should know that the line x equals negative 1 would be a vertical line straight up and down here. So that's not going to work, and I can just eliminate b and c already. So that's helpful. And then the next thing you should be thinking about is that if I'm going to flip it over the line y equals negative 1, and let's actually let's just draw that in right now as a dashed line. There's the line y equals negative 1. If I'm going to reflect it over that line, one of the things I need to do first is line up their left edges. So this guy has to actually move to the left. Let's see, it looks like one, two, three spaces for it to be lined up. So if I did that, moved it just to the left three, it would look like that. And then it would be closer to being ready to be reflected over that line y equals negative 1. Let me just jot down what I did here so far in this vector notation form. That's an x move of negative 3. So I moved it to the left 3. Now we can move it up and down too and uh, to figure out how much and what direction we want to do that, the rule of thumb is this. The, the figure needs to be the same number of spaces away from the line of reflection on the top and on the bottom. On the bottom, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 away from this dashed line, y equals negative 1. On the top, it's just 1, 2, 3 away. So it looks like I'm going to need to move it up 1, so making the figure look like that. So I'll add that to my vector notation. So I'm going to translate it to the left 3 and up 1, and then I'm going to reflect it over that line, y equals negative 1. That looks like it should work, and if we're lucky, that's one of our answer choices. And yeah, it looks like A, translation of negative 3, 1, and reflection over the line, y equals negative 1. So that is a glide reflection. Let's look at a couple more, or at least one more, like that. This one's pretty much the same, except we're dealing with triangles instead of L's. And uh, they're giving us the uh, translation and the reflection and asking us to pick which uh, uh, is the right before and after image that would go along with that. So let's look at this. Which of the following shows the image of triangle ABC after the glide reflection made up of a translation negative 1, negative 3, and then the reflection over the line x equals 1? And the first thing I like to do is draw, just draw in that line of reflection. x equals 1 is a vertical line. It's hard for me to draw straight from this angle. But uh, so there's x equals 1, more or less. And one of the first things, so we're flipping it this way, one of the first things you're going to have to do with this triangle, so here's A, B, C, here's A prime, B prime, C prime. I don't know if A is the correct answer, but I'm going to work off of this graph for right now. One of the things we're going to have to do is make sure the bottoms line up before we flip it. And it looks like um, to get down to this one, which is sitting there right there on the x-axis, I'd have to go down 1, 2, 3. So that would be a y of negative 3, and that does fit. Okay. And then once we've got it down there, so let's go ahead and just draw that. Something like that. Once we've got it down there, you want to make sure it's the same number of spaces away on either side of this line of reflection. And on this side, it's one, two spaces away. And on this side, it's only one space away. So we would need to move it one closer. And if we did that, it would be right there. That would be uh, a translation of negative 1. Aha! So that seems to fit exactly what we wanted to do. This translation of down 3 and 1 to the left 
makes it line up perfectly for this reflection uh, over the line x equals 1 in A. So I just kind of got lucky looking at A here. If you look at B for a second, what you'll see is that if I go 1, 2, 3 down, the bottoms aren't lined up. So that one's not going to work. On C, if I go 1, 2, 3 down, the bottoms are lined up. And if I go one more over, I'm right there. And if I put in that reflection line, you'll see that the one on the left here is two spaces away. The one on the right is right on top of it. So that's not going to work. And then D, if I move this down three, the bottoms don't line up. So that one's not going to work. So hopefully that's going to give you a little bit of help with these glide reflection problems.